By now, you may have heard that U.S. researchers have found arsenic in certain foods, including baby formula and cereal bars. The products were made with organic brown rice syrup, a sweetener used in many organic and gluten-free foods. As you can imagine, this story raises many questions. But as Kim Brunhuber discovered, it's still not clear how much is too much when it comes to arsenic in our food. Mmm, that looks really yummy. It's not every two-year-old who would choose to make their mom quinoa for breakfast. Okay. Thank you. But for Manjit Bumra and her daughter Shafali, even their imaginary food is organic. Kids' tissues and their brains are developing so quickly, it's even more important to have to have them not exposed to pesticides and chemicals. So imagine her reaction when she learned some organic products contain arsenic. I'm really surprised. A study published in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives found dangerous amounts of arsenic in a range of products sweetened with brown rice syrup, including two types of baby formula made by Nature's One. You can find brown rice syrup in a growing number of organic products from breakfast cereal to energy bars, and in the wake of a recent report which found elevated levels of arsenic in certain popular brands of apple juice, experts say parents should be vigilant, particularly since children and infants are at greater risk. Chemist William Cullen has spent his life studying arsenic. He says it's naturally present in trace amounts in almost all the foods we eat, including tonight's side dish, brown rice. Don't panic about this. Uh, you, can, you, can, you, can get, you can kill yourself just as easily by worrying about the effects of these things. But he says the government should do more to limit our exposure since Health Canada only regulates the amount of arsenic in water, juice and fish. <coughs> Consumer advocates are also urging Health Canada to require labels that reveal how much arsenic is in the food we buy. In a statement, Health Canada would only say it's aware of the study and will take action if the arsenic is present in a concentration that would be unsafe to human health. Want me to spin you around? Boomerah isn't waiting for the government to act. I think it's up to every parent to research whatever they put in their child's mouth. A difficult task when there are few rules limiting arsenic in food and even fewer labels identifying it. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Toronto.